So, there you are. It's a rainy night. You've called a taxi. Strangely, the driver doesn't talk. You arrive at the address, want to pay cash, and run away screaming. There's no driver at the wheel! Wait, 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 wait. This is not a horror movie, but the near future of self-driving cars. So, what's good and bad about them? Well, let's see. No traffic jams. In big cities, traffic jams will disappear when self-driving vehicles go out on the roads. For many people, this will save about 40 hours a year. That's how much the average metropolitan driver spends in traffic jams. No more accidents. The number of accidents will reduce by about 90%. You won't be afraid of someone suddenly running a red light when you cross the street. Crime rate decreased. Criminals won't be able to escape from the police chase in a self-driving car. It can be tracked and stopped remotely. Of course, they might use an ordinary car, but it won't be easy for them to get their hands on it in a world where nobody rides such cars anymore. Best taxi in the world. In big cities, it will be much cheaper for people to use a taxi than to have a car of their own. Many taxi companies look forward to self-driving cars filling the streets. In a city without traffic jams, taxi waiting time will be about 38 seconds, and the cost of a ride will be lower. Such mobility and convenience will make ordinary cars pointless. Fast delivery. How do you usually wait for your pizza guy? In big cities, the average waiting time is around 40 to 80 minutes. If the pizza is delivered by a driverless car, this time will be halved, and this applies to any food. Perfect future. If the only cars in cities are self-driving taxis and public transport, there will be no need for garages and parking lots, and the real estate area will increase. All cars will become electric, which is good for ecology. And just imagine, no more parking or speeding tickets. Long-distance delivery. Truck drivers won't need to spend days or even weeks on the road. All cars for transportation of goods will be also equipped with an autopilot. This will allow to transport cargo long distances much faster. But before considering the weaknesses, let's first see how a self-driving car works. In fact, the working principle of self-driving cars is similar to that of the human body. We have ears, nose, eyes to analyze information and react, and the self-driving car has radar sensors and cameras. They become more reliable with each passing month, if not every day. A few years ago, cars couldn't stop or notice an object in the rain, but now they can see and move even during snowfall. It seems that cars will drive around the city perfectly with such abilities. And that's the main issue. These cars drive too perfectly. Here's an example. A self-driving car drives along a busy street and notices someone standing on the curb. The car's internal system quickly analyzes the situation and decides that the person is going to step onto the road. The logical reaction of the computer is to stop and let the pedestrians pass. So the car brakes and creates an emergency on the road, while the person was not going to cross the street at all and just stood there waiting for a friend. To cope with such tasks, Developers gave some cars a voice and taught them to beep. Now, if the car doesn't understand what to do, it will sound the horn like an angry driver would. Still, there are situations where beeping won't help, such as a bird crossing the road before the car. These cars have several more disadvantages to boot. High price. A regular self-driving car stuffed with electronics can cost more than premium conventional cars. This won't be a problem because of the new taxi development, though. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Difficulty of development In most cases, repairing an average car is not difficult. You can even do it yourself without the help of auto mechanics. But if a self-driving car gets broken, that's a much bigger problem. Even a minor malfunction can lead to a serious accident. An experienced driver can drive with a flat tire and a broken headlight for short distances, I might add. A computer, though, may become confused if a bug gets inside one of its radars. Also, the assembly of such machines requires great attention to detail. At the very beginning, companies will produce impeccable systems to attract as many customers as they can. But when the product goes into mass production, its quality may decline. Cybercriminals 
A fully electronic car could be a real treat for criminals adept at messing with computers. Imagine that you get into a self-driving taxi, tell it the address, and the car takes you in a completely different direction. More precisely, not the car, but a criminal who got into its systems. Environmental issues Over time, all self-driving cars will switch from gas to electricity. But until then, there will be even more ecological concerns than today. When you arrive at your destination and leave the car, it gets busy searching for a place to park. If there's none, the car will just drive around the city and give off exhaust fumes until you call it back. Constant surveillance In an ordinary car, you can go anywhere without anyone knowing of your location. As soon as you sit in a self-driving car, though, it will immediately report to its company servers. Your every movement will be seen. Forget about total privacy in a car. Loss of jobs Not only drivers, but developers of conventional cars may lose their jobs. Large car companies will need to adapt or go bankrupt. Several million workplaces could disappear. Driving pleasure Many people love to drive. The feeling of speed and complete control give real pleasure, and few people would want to lose it. Still, there are more advantages to self-driving cars than disadvantages, and these vehicles will completely replace conventional ones in the future. But what happens then? How will the progress of auto transport develop further? Developers will focus on entertainment for passengers. The cars will be able to tell you the exact time of the trip. Do you need to arrive at 12 sharp? Okay. The car can intentionally slow down or increase speed. A self-driving car will turn into a real electronic assistant. With voice control, you can set up a meeting, order food, or choose a movie. The place where the driver once used to drive the car can be used instead for a mini cinema, game console, or a mini fridge. People who like to communicate with the driver will be able to talk with developed artificial intelligence. The machine will create a driver hologram, and you can change its appearance. Imagine that your personal Ah. chauffeur is some superstar. The AI will also be able to maintain an interesting conversation. Then cars will go away from roads and rise into the air. Yeah, just like in sci-fi movies. Flying cars are already in development, in fact. The prototypes are equipped with huge propellers that lift the vehicle into the air. And, of course, thousands of new rules for air traffic will be invented. But the coolest thing is that you won't have to take exams for the driver's license ever again. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ordinary gas-powered cars will be very difficult to get. They'll become relics in possession of very rich people. A simple minivan you use for your commute today will cost more than a million dollars in the future. So hang on to yours. Such cars might also get banned for good, too. In an attempt to protect the environment, exhaust fumes might become a punishable offense. Driving a car on your own, though, will become an extreme sport, and many people will want to feel it. The knowledge of old auto mechanics will become almost lost. Professionals who know the engine and other insides of the car will be able to earn a lot of money. Old-school auto mechanics will serve very wealthy and elite clients. Well, okay. Hey, maybe the AI driver of the future will be named Mario. Either for the famed indie race driver or that video game guy. That'd be fun. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right. And remember, stay on the bright side of life.